What is going on everyone? My name is Voight and I'm back with some more Age Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the left side of the map in the blue color playing as Isis. He's from the Dodd clan and his name is Joe, his partners today. In the purple color, playing as Thor, his name is Shelty, and in the teal color, playing as Hades, his name is Scotty. And yes, they are together, Team Dodd, deities of death. Their opponents today in the green color, playing as Hades, his name is Damantus. In the yellow color, playing as Loki, his name is I Kill, You Die. And in the red color, playing as Poseidon, his name is Matrius. And all up, they are Team Yuka, also known as the Uncrappables. What a name. This is the finals. This is the finals of the RTSL. It's one of the longest running competitive competitions in Age of Mythology. I believe it goes all the way back to 2003, maybe 2004. But it is, it's been going on for ages. And I think they're in like their 30, 31st, 32nd um, season, maybe more. Someone can tell me. Someone. Um, but yeah. Very exciting. Very exciting times to be alive. So uh, this is the map Lumber Camp. A um, bit of a strange one. It, it it doesn't really it kind of plays out a little bit like an Anatolia in a way like the water is is kind of important but uh, doesn't doesn't end up mattering too much the dock spams kind of support your own defense of the water winning the water is pretty difficult um, that's at least my first gut reaction to it whenever you get these little water uh, sp lengths like this it's it's just it just reminds me of anatolia and how that works uh same with any water maps where the water is really big and vast and spread out uh, it reminds me of midgard where it's like it really doesn't matter you don't really want to win water because the land is what really matters at the end of the day so if your opponent really goes hard on water you can then turn that on them by going hard on the on the land uh, so to see how this is going to play out, it turns out already a bit of a strange decision here from I Kill You Die, not going for any of the fish. It looks like uh, the team Euchre is deciding to give all of the fishing spots over to um, over to Demantis. And I guess that's exactly the same thing that's happening over here. It looks like Scardi is not taking any of the water himself. Uh, Shelty is grabbing water, and same with Joe. I just maybe it just seems like there's just not enough fish to go around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight fish. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. It's about twelve fish um, for each player, but it looks like Matrius has grabbed the middle of the water much better than Joe, and because he is Greek, is going to be able to fish out the vast majority of this i think we do see a temple coming up here for matrix as well he may be going for an aries push here uh and if uh Demantis wants to go that as well it's going to be pretty terrifying we see scotty going through uh athena and Demantis going through athena let's check this out here um can i go lta Yes, so you can just see all the technologies coming through. It's a bit much to see all the resources. So we just got Forsetti coming through for I Kill, uh, and this is going to be great for I Kill. The map is actually relatively high hunt. You have a ton of deer, um, bears, uh, and, oh, and boar in the middle of the map here. You've got aurochs on the on the shoreline as well that you can eat. So making sure you you've got that secured is going to be huge. But he, this is pocket Loki. This is dream for Loki in team games. So what I kind of wouldn't mind seeing from uh, from our Loki player I kill here is potentially just grabbing this second town center straight away, uh, and then just massing Hersa and, and and being a nuisance because that way he's not going to fall behind on the economy, not going to have to hit any sort of timing pushes. All of what Joe's going to be doing is going to be on the water. All of what uh, Scott is going to be doing is going to be on, uh, well, should be on the water. It's going to be somewhat, I'm not sure, but what, what Sheldy's going to do m m at most, he's going to have raiding cavalry and you can deal with that with some walls. Uh, but everyone getting to the next age now, uh, I think we did end up seeing 
Hermes from Mattress as well. So no Aries rush here. Just getting the docks up, getting all of these fishing spots claimed for himself. Looks like Joe's kind of underdone it on the water himself. Getting up another dock though. Getting all sorted out. He is going through Bast. He is Isis. Uh, and, and he may be going for that semi-fast uh, heroic age. It looks like, like he's just going for a second town center. As Matthews has got his Catus boss already on this location here. So he's going to spot that one uh, going up. Five second town centers on water maps is always kind of interesting. Maybe it's a fake. No, nope, he's going to kill the Catus boss and take the settlement. We're seeing a second town center for Scardi and for Shelty. And this is what I'm talking about right here. There's no, it doesn't really slow down the initial Hursa production. It just slows down um, it by a very small amount. Uh, you're not going to get Hall of Fans very early. Uh, and maybe you'll miss out on two or, or three Hursa early before the Town Center comes up. And then after that, it's really, really good. And, and if your opponents go for two Town Centers, you're going to be in a great spot. But right now, I kill. He's going to have to hit some sort of a timing here to make this one town center play work. And and, and that's going to be the s same thing for Yuka in general. We just see the uh, dock here getting denied as Matrius comes in with his ships. Demantis coming in with his ships as well as Shelty is starting to make long boats out. Uh, Demantis is going to be able to put a lot of damage down onto Shelty here. There, This is not like Joe. Joe's, Joe's Isis... So he's going to be able to defend a lot easier with these docks, but Shelty's only got two docks up, so Dodd may be just sacrificing water here, and maybe it's going to work. <coughs> we see uh, Hall of Fans is coming through now for eye kill, so he's going to have those speedy Hursa causing a lot of nuisance here. The walls are slowly starting to come up for Joe, though his village is being a little bit of a lazy uh, lazy villager there. Percine coming through for Matrius as he's kind of taking his claim to the water. He wants to get as much food income as possible. Down center is up now for Joe. He's going to be moving forward and eating these Aurochs. Uh, and if Matrius is smart and understands the map layout, he's going to be able to move forward with these Trireme and pick off at least these Aurochs that are on the shoreline here. 14 range should be able to start uh, volleying down these these laborers here. But he's he's pushing back and, and Joe's just calmly gathering from two fishing ships here. And now we see the Hursa coming and going to start picking off a sentry tower. We see the troll spawn there. Not the best spawn on when you're uh, going around with these Hall of Thanes Hursa because you can't really uh, run around it and help. But... Uh, like a Valkyrie can, or maybe an Iron Hear can help pick off uh, the buildings a little bit faster. We just see a sacrificial Hursa. They're not able to quite pick off that troll, and the Hursa will fall. Uh, but Shelty has to be careful here. He's about to get raided on this wood line. He's not microing away. He's going to take a lot of damage from these Hursa, and Shelty will finally start retreating, but not before losing two villagers here. Meanwhile, Shelty's losing out on this location here on, on the water as well, and Scardi is simply just going to grab three town centers. So the team Dodd here are just saying, look, we're all just booming. Not making units, try and mitigate damage as much as possible, get as many villages out as possible. We see the temple is going down as well as Ikill is finding all the damage that he needs here. Meanwhile, Matrius is grabbing three town centers behind this, which I absolutely love. He wins water, he gets three town centers, he's, he's going to be absolutely huge. Uh, Joe, on the other hand, he's casting his prosperity, he's going up through Neff. These barracks now starting to come out. We'll see how he's going to go. There is a timing attack possibility here against Poseidon with Loki if the Poseidon player goes for three town centers. Um, and it can be absolutely devastating, so we'll see if that's something that Joe's going to be able to make happen here. Uh, meanwhile, Demantis is also going up to three town centers, chasing Scotty's three town centers, but, but, Demantis has got water, so absolutely huge for him. He's got Percy, and we see Bragi coming through as well, so really nice semi-fast heroic here from Ikele. He does have to be careful not to lose too many of these Hursa, and there are a lot of low HP ones here, because this timing attack that's going to hit for Ikele is going to be big, uh, but he needs to not lose any Hursa, and it does look like he will lose one there before starting that, uh, that Hursa production up again. Uh, the other option is to simply just not go for the timing attack and just go straight to the Mythic Age. Um, chuck a market down, go tier, and then hit a Fimble Winter Flaming Weapons timing attack. There is no access to Ceasefire, uh, but there could be access to uh, Frost by the time it comes out. As we see the Dwarven Armory coming out, Vault of Erebus coming through for Demantis, as well as Shaft Mine there for Joe. Very important uh, 
to get that upgrade there because it helps your villagers gather gold so, so fast. See the uh, priests and the Sphinx and the Scorpion Man do manage to take down a Centaur there before chasing Theseus away as Matrius is pushing in, trying to get some damage done. The little fire thing here is going to kill a fair few of these Triremes if... Uh, uh. If Matrius isn't careful, in fact, I think he's going to lose the majority of his naval fleet here. And maybe that's going to allow uh, Joe to pop out some cabinets or something else. He's pushing forward, wants to grab his third town center. We're starting to see some stables coming up for Matrius. He loves the stable spam at 85 wood. These are cheap as chips. Uh, and they do net him two militia. And that's something that... Uh, Joe is not going to really be happy with, but he doesn't want to allow this stable to be this close to him, so he's going to clean that one up. Uh, the Hippolyta is coming back in, getting some damage dealt. Uh, and now we do see the uh, the market is up, and Ikil wants to go to the next age. It looks like he's cut population again. He's got 13 Hursa, uh, and he's got his healing spring here. So Tear or Hell, doesn't really matter which one. Hell's an interesting pick because you can get access to uh, Rampage. In, and if you can get a sneaky back temple, you can get a lot of damage done by just sneaking Hursa through and getting um, random temples set up on your opponent's side of the field. Uh, but also Tier hits three people at once. So that's uh, obviously very, very exciting. And there it's coming through with the Fimble Winter. Uh, Fimble Winter's uh, Flaming Weapons timing attack. Scardi is on the way here for Shelty though. So that's going to be a nice way to defend. We are starting to see some walls getting set up as Scardi realizes, well, I don't need to win this side. This is what Scardi's, this is the temp, this is the plan here. Scardi does not need to win. Shelty does not need to win. These guys need to play nice and defensively. And they just have to hope that Joe can push forward through matches with the Ancestors Eclipse uh, and potentially get some nice uh, underworld shenanigans coming through. However, the problem is going to be Fimble Winter is going to really hurt any sort of timing push. Joe also went for three town centers. He's currently short food to produce villages and I don't see a market up for him. Oh, sorry about that. Don't see a market up for him anywhere, which means he can't buy food in order to build more villages, which is kind of the ISIS uh, tactic or just the Egyptian tactic in general here. Now we're seeing the uh, the Hursa moving forward. These are Heroic Age Hursa. Very, very strong. But so are the uh, Shelty Hursa at this point. Uh, essentially, Heroic Age Hursa are a sort of similar-ish to heavy upgraded units or potentially heavy plus maybe copper mail and copper shields as well if you have to give it something. And then once they get Mythic Age, it's champion plus bronze mail um copper shield or bronze shield uh excuse me get the hp bo bonus um a little bit more than than anything else we are seeing demands us coming in onto this location with shell uh with i kill i kill casting thimble winter and flaming weapons no frost available here the villagers getting sniped as shelter is going to be attempting to run away these hurts are pushing in the uh thimble winter wolves hitting a ton of joe's villagers over here hitting villagers over here and clicking off scardy's villagers shelter having like actually getting hit as well so this Fimble Winter is doing tons of damage now onto Team Dodd the Hursa pushing in gonna try and break through Shelty's uh Shelty's base here is doing a lot of damage in this location here the uh uh, Fimble Winter is just about to pop here, and we're probably going to have to see a Frost get cast right now onto this location, and he does hit that. That's only 11 Hursa, though, and there's more coming. There's a Battle Ball. There's a Valkyrie. There's still six Hursa as the Frost Giant's coming in. Ancestors Eclipse coming down onto this location as Matrius has to retreat here, but these buildings are all up, and this is going to slow Joe down a lot if he wants to deal with this. Hephaestus has come through for Matrius as well as Forge of Olympus is on the way which is going to be really really big for mattress if you can get that one out and hold on joe now needs to send villages forward and put migdol stronghold up in the face of mattress but there is already the polyphemus out polyphemus can basically two hit these minions or one hit with his special ability so these die incredibly fast as joe is trying to get some damage done but it's looking like over here, Shelty is just taking way too much damage. The dwarves get cut off by those hurts, so there are tons of throwing axemen over here at this time for Shelty to hold on. And Shelty is three town centers compared to I kills one town center, so he should be okay if he can survive this. Let's survive it is the problem here. Meanwhile, Domantis Scardi having a nice little uh, peaceful ceasefire at this point as uh, the units getting sniped down over here, and Scardi is attempting to 
stay relevant in this game. Uh, but Shelty does look like he's going to be able to clean this up. You can see the difference between these units here. 11.2 damage to 9.6 and then also 182 HP as well. So absolutely huge uh, Mythic Age Hursa as he's going to be attempting to push back in, taking down some of these throwing actions. There are so many throwing actions. Uh, so long as Shelty micros it half decently, he should be able to take this fight. Oh, but we see a Fire Giant spawn here. This is going to absolutely decimate these throwing axemen as tons of them die there from that throwing axe. Couldn't have asked for a better myth unit spawn there in that situation. Now we see Curse coming in as Matrius is pushing back into Joe, who is absolutely getting smoked by Matrius as Poseidon here. He's got the Heliopolis, he's got the Polyphemus, he's cursed the army, he's got these heavy Hippocon coming in as the Chariot Archers just have nothing. Demantis hits the Mythic Age through Artemis. He's going to be earthquaking the town center and Scardi taps out, Shelty taps out, Joe taps out. GG, well played by Team Yuka here taking game number one. That's how it goes with the Loki. Those timing attacks, they can be too much. And that's exactly what happened here for Shelty and Scardi. Joe, on the other hand, just looked like he straight got outplayed by Matrius as uh, he didn't decide to defend this. He went two town centers and then the, the fish boom was enough to hold him through until three town centers. And then the mythic age just comes through and makes life really, really tough here. Maybe Joe could have tried getting an instant third town center instead of um, of of going heroic age. And then he could have gone for a semi-fast mythic instead. Um, but yeah, one thing I feel like needs to happen with these Isis uh, on, on water maps like this when you go for the semi-fast heroics is you got to get that Ancestor Eclipse onto the economy. Otherwise, they just the three town centers are just too hard. Uh, just They just get Mythic Age way too fast. But the minute of idle time you can cause slows down the three town centers because they're not producing villages from them. Maybe picks up a couple of villages, um, but allows you to set up a little bit more. But nothing of that happened over there on that side and, and Shelty just not able to, to stay alive against that crazy Loki pressure here. Nice play from my kill and nice play from Yuka. If you guys enjoyed these games, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. See you guys in the next game.